Hi. Welcome to the video tutorial on Shopify and Zoho CRM integration. Install the app Zoho CRM integration. The connect and authorize window will be displayed. Connect your desired Shopify account to the extension by clicking on the connect button. Log into your Shopify account and select your desired store that you want to connect to your Zoho CRM. The Shopify authorization window will be displayed. Enter the store name and token ID. To get token ID or API credentials from the Shopify store, log into your Shopify account and navigate to settings. Now select apps and sales channels. On the apps and sales channels, click on develop apps and then select create an app option. Enter the desired app name and click on create an app. The app development window will be displayed. Now move on to the configuration tab. On the admin API configuration, click on configure. Enable the read and write options on the module such as customers, products, and orders. Click on save. Then move on to the API credentials tab. On the access token section, click on install app. The pop-up shows install this app in the Shopify store. Click install. Once the app gets installed, the API token will be generated. Now click on the reveal token once. Copy the API token and paste it in the configuration window. The Shopify section becomes blurred as your selected store has been connected. Then click on authorize corresponding to the Zoho CRM. Here, click on Accept to allow the Shopify extension to access the Zoho CRM. Once done, the settings page of the app will be displayed. From here, you can configure the sync settings of both Shopify and the Zoho CRM. First, we go for the Zoho Sync configuration. It shows all the supported modules of Zoho CRM, such as contacts, products, and sales orders. You can easily enable or disable the record sync of any module by simply clicking on the power button. Also, you have a create, update, and delete switch on each module. You can enable or disable any action switches of any desired modules to sync records correspondingly. For example, if you enable the create switch of the contact module, then the record will be synced based on contact creation. Enable the onsave sync option for an instant record sync from Zoho CRM to Shopify. The onsave sync will sync records instantly to Shopify whenever the record is created or updated in Zoho CRM. Once done with the configuration, click on update configuration. Next, we go for the Shopify sync configuration. It shows all the supported modules of Shopify stores. The configuration setting is the same as that of the Zoho Sync configuration. You can easily select the desired module and desired actions for the record to be synced. Enable the Allow Sync options for an effective record sync from Shopify and Zoho CRM. Then we will see about the multiple store support. For that navigate to the multiple store option. You can view all of your Shopify stores here. To connect to another store, Ensure the store you are going to connect to is activated in your Shopify account. Then move back to the app and click on the store's authorization. Now click on Install to add the store to the app. Among the multiple stores, select the default store from the drop-down for on-save and historical record sync. Ensure you have activated the status of the default store to sync records effectively on your default store. You can activate and deactivate the status of any stores based on your business needs. If you inactivate the status of the default store, then you will get an error message that the default store is inactivated. The record will be synced only on the selected primary store. You can change the primary store at any time. The integration maintains data integrity by managing record sync history within the extension database. However, when adding new stores, the previous store sync history is appropriately deleted to prevent overlap or confusion. This preserves the accuracy and integrity of customer records and transaction history. If you want to connect with another Shopify account, then you can easily reset the connection by clicking on this reset option. For an effective record sync, the fields of the Zoho CRM and Shopify should be mapped. For that, navigate to the Mapping section. Select the module for which you need to do the mapping. 
Here the Zoho CRM fields and Shopify fields are mapped by default. You can also add custom field mapping by a simple drag and drop method. Once done, click on Save Mapping. To sync bulk records, navigate to the Historical Sync tab. It is the bidirectional record sync that will sync records from Zoho CRM to Shopify and vice versa. It is easy to select the sync direction by simply toggling the switch from right to left for Shopify to Zoho CRM and left to the right for Zoho CRM to Shopify. Here I select the Shopify to Zoho CRM record sync. Then select the module for which you want to sync records. I chose the contact module. Then provide the from date and to date between which you need to sync records. Now click on sync. It shows the number of records that are going to sync from Shopify to Zoho CRM. You can verify it and click on the continue to sync option. Now all the customers from the selected Shopify store will be synced to Zoho contacts. To track the sync history navigate to the audit section. It shows all the sync details and the success or failure statuses of the record sync. You can also filter the record sync of any particular time interval by clicking on this filter option. Click on this search bar to search for any particular record sync with its name, module name, sync statuses, etc. If you search for any name, then enter the name here and click on search. Once done, you can click on a clear filter to exit the filter. Hope this video will be helpful. Thanks for watching.